day had just begun and the garden was coming to life. Down at the bottom of the garden, near the shed, was an old broken sundial nobody wanted. On the sundial was a ladybird. A ladybird with an unusual thought. I wonder why leaves cry. It may have been something I said, of course. I can be thoughtless at times. I should learn to be more careful about what I say. What do you think, suppose? I don't think it's very well. Oh, it hurts. Not all of it, just the bit at the very end. Oh, dear. What can I do? There must be something. Maybe if I talk to it gently. You can talk to it any way you like. It won't answer back. Noses never do. Noses? I don't want to talk to noses. Oh. I want to find out whatever is wrong with the leaf. Oh, dear me. Why do leaves cry? Noise, noise. Why does it always have to be noise? Oh, ancient caterpillar. Just at the right time. I could hear you on the other side of the garden. Could you answer a question? That's puzzling me. I don't want complete silence. Just keeping things to a moderate tone would be quite satisfactory. I was wondering, do you know why leaves cry? Cry? Why does anything cry? Is it because it's sad? Sad? All of us are sad from time to time. Suppose there isn't a cure for sad. Ah, yes. Laughter. An ally. A friend. Laughter for all. The cure for all. Oh, of course. Laughter. We'll have to make the leaf laugh. But how? Ah. Oh. What was I saying? Oh, no matter. No matter. Leaf laugh. Leaf laugh. Leaf laugh. You know, saying leaf laugh tickles the top of my mouth. It's probably the same the other way round. Laugh, leaf. Laugh, leaf. Laugh, leaf. <laughs> laugh, leaf. <laughs> Tickles. Now, oh. how exactly are we going to make the leaf laugh? That could be tricky. Leaves are pretty solemn things, if my memory serves me right. It's up to us to think of something, suppose. Come on. Think hard. I'm doing an awful lot of this thinking these days. I'm not sure it's all that good for me. I've got it. Careful, Ladybird. You know, I'm not all that strong. We'll think of the funniest word we've ever heard and tell the leaf. Funniest word? Yes. You must know a funny word, suppose. Maybe I do. I've got one. What is it? It's secret. Secret? Well, I don't think that's very funny. Oh, no, suppose. I don't mean the word secret. I mean the word is secret. I mean, I've never told anyone. But you will tell me, won't you? All right. But can you speak up? Because I'm, I'm finding it hard to hear what you're saying. All right. I mean, all right. I saw my word on the other side of the shed. It was on its own. Some words don't like mixing. It wasn't a big word. Not as words go, but it was written in red. Red? Really? <laughs> That's quite funny in itself. Yes, I thought so. And one of the letters was bigger than the rest. Um, the first one, I think. You know, I always say there's nothing as funny as one letter bigger than the rest. Especially the first one. Go on, Ladybird. Tell me, what was the word? It was kettle. Oh. Well, I thought it was funny. It was the big letter that did it. You had to see it to appreciate it. Kettle is not an unfunny word. It has searching qualities. It's just that I don't think it would be funny to a leaf. Perhaps not. What does it mean, anyway? Well, as I understand it, it's that feeling you get when you wake up in the morning. You know, all kettle. Oh, yes. I know exactly what you mean. I often feel kettle myself. What a shame it isn't funny. Perhaps your word would be better. Who says I have one? Have you supposed? As it happens, I have. And as it happens, it's the funniest word I've ever heard. It makes me laugh. And as you know, I'm not one that laughs easily. 
true, that is suppose. I like to think so. Well, what is it then? Watch, watch. The word. Oh, yes. It's Burba. Burba? <laughs> what a word. What a great word. <laughs> well, I'm not so sure. Not so sure? What, what do you mean, not so sure? Well, to be truthful, suppose, I don't think it's funny. Don't think it's funny? Oh, ladybirds, what do they know? Bird bath, my little friend, is one of the funniest words ever. In fact, you won't find a funnier word near this sundial. Kettle. What? Kettle is funnier than bird bath. Never. You're silly. I know what's funny, suppose, and it's not bird bath. Whereas kettle is, I suppose. Kettle, 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 kettle. It gets funnier the more you say it. Huh? Bird bath, bird bath, bird bath. Uh, funny the funniest word, word ever. Kettle. Bird bath. Kettle. Bird bath. Kettle. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Stop? Even kettle's funnier than stop. Oh, suppose what I mean is stop. We can't go around saying kettle and bird bath at one another all day. Well, let's just say bird bath and leave it at that. Certainly not. Besides the fact that Kettle is much funnier. It's unfair to decide on just one word like that. Well, uh, I know. Why not ask Ariadne? She knows all about words. She'll be able to tell us which is the funniest straight away. Well, uh, uh, not straight away. But suppose said you would. But it's uh, not as easy as that. Deciding on the funniest word can be very, very tricky. We need to know as soon as possible. There's a leaf by the sundial that won't stop crying. Something has to be done soon. Or goodness knows what will happen. Why don't you just work it out? Well, I suppose I could cross-multiply and add a few things here and there and do something with the tallest letter. Oh, that's good. Kettle had a tall letter in it. Aha! I had it. What is it, Ariadne? You must repeat both words to the leaf and let it decide. Is that it? Yes, and quite brilliant it is too. I, uh, I think I'm getting better as I get older. All right, suppose you go first. Why should I? Ladybirds are smaller than worms. What has that got to do with it? It's a statement of fact, Ladybird. No doubt, suppose. But it doesn't stop you going first. Go on. All right. But be prepared for a lot of laughter. Right, here goes in. Are you ready? Bird bath. Not as successful as you'd hope, suppose. I can't understand it. Now let me try. <coughs> kettle. 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 Oh. Oh. Well, you two, uh, uh, how's it going? Not very well. We've said both words, but it's done no good at all. I'm not sure what we should do now. Uh, why don't you, um, try one of my words? That might do the trick. Very unlikely. Whoever laughed at anything you said. Well, suppose there's a first time for everything. Well, if it stops this poor leaf crying. Now, let me see. Um, now, what was it? Oh, yes, I remember. Tea towel. My goodness me, it worked. I mean... It worked! But it's not laughing. Well, you can't have uh, everything. At least it stopped crying. I call that, um, progress. Goodbye, ta-ta, cheerio, and so on. You know, Ladybird, when I woke up this morning, I had no idea I would find out that tea towel was the funniest word ever. It's an odd word, isn't it? Yes, Ladybird. Very odd. So as Ladybird and Suppose the Worm pondered the funniest word ever. The rest of the creepy crawlies settled down to watch the sun go down beyond the old broken sundial nobody wanted.